<laughs> All right, welcome everywhere. It's a bloody Monday over here. In, it in, feels like that's kind of regular lately. Last month, bloody Monday. It's down, 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 down. I just emailed all our yards. I God, hate when man. I have to email them every week. I like when I can email them like every two weeks, every once a month when we get some real steadiness. But copper's down 12 cents right now. I was thinking, um, you know, yesterday was Mother's Day and, hmm. you know, I took my wife out to breakfast, and, mm-hmm. you know, with the kids and yada, yada, yada. And I was thinking about, you know, t- this is a good morning to have mimosas <laughs> or <laughs> Bloody yeah. Marys or something. We're just going to start doing our Mondays meetings. We're like, all right, screw a podcast. We're just sitting here drinking, I'm, watching the market. If get you say so. <laughs> just treating every day like it's Mother's Day. Make some Micheladas. <laughs> yeah. Is it like a yeah. Michelada bar? Goodness, man. Well, uh, uh, shout out to all the moms out there. Yeah, we love you. Um, Without you, we wouldn't exist. 100%, you know, and aluminum's getting hammered. Nickel's getting hammered across the board. Yeah. My question, is it still just tied to what's going on in China? Is it tied like a, to the I Fed? Think it's a lot of events, man. It's all at once like a snowball. It's the same reason why the prices went up, right? It's a multitude of events and mm-hmm. like, you know, that all hit at once. And I think it's the same thing on the downside. You know, it's not just one event that's pressuring it. I think it's, you know, it's a st- super strong dollar. It's the Chinese economy, you know, pretty is in pretty rough shape, you know, temporarily. The interest you know? rate went up ha- half a the percent. The interest rates are going up. You know, people yeah. are de-risking. Mm-hmm. So... You know, there's the stock market is, you know, getting hammered. I think it's it's a multitude of events. You know, obviously, the Russia-Ukraine war. Like, there's just, you know, I think people are kind of nervous, rightfully so. This market's been on a tear. People are profit-taking. They're trying to take some chips off the table. You can't really blame them if nobody really knows where the bottom truly is. Mm-hmm. People are probably trying to batten down the hatches a little bit and you know, get themselves in a position to be able to weather the storm, whatever the storm is. Well, we have Ferris. It was down 75 to 100, depending on the grade. Um, And, you know, that's a big big movement in one month, you know? Yeah, but also people forget that the previous month, Mm -hmm. it was up that much, right? Yeah, Yeah, we got up markets. Some places didn't, though. Like the previous, I say two months, like more like March, right? Between, you know, March, April softened up pretty quick. But March was a big up month. Mm -hmm. on the fair side, you know? And then I think that, you know, depending on your market and depending on, you know, what time you you made your trade on in April, um, it wasn't a crushing market um, either way, you know? Um, May's tough. They're going to, people are going to take some, some gas out of it. Who knows what June brings? Probably depends on what the, uh, the flow looks like this month for people and how hard people try and sell and move, move material. Um, you know, fuck! It's snowing in Idaho right now. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, it's been snowing I took all my morning. Son to school this morning. And it's his ninth birthday, and I and I was like, "Do you know how rare it is, like, that a your birthday's on the ninth? Mm-hmm. You're turning nine, but it's." F- I said, "What's even crazier than all that is it's freaking snowing right now, like outside." And he goes, "You think we're gonna have a snow day, Dad?" And I was like, "I sure as hell hope not, son. <laughs> I, go, I got a lot of shit that needs to get done, but like." So does that disrupt like what's going to happen out in the field and like flow wise and the what transportation, you can move, transportation, logistics? I don't know. It depends on how. Um, hopefully, it's supposed to get nicer towards the and end. And we of got sleep, tornadoes in Spokane. Yeah, like it's, it's been some crazy stuff going on. It's a wild. Tw- I think twenty two is going to be. If we thought twenty one was kind of crazy, twenty two might top top the cake. I know? feel like the other day it was twenty nineteen. What's going on? <laughs> it just blink and all this craziness happened. Man, and we're I just. Tell you. We're just living through it. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, um, as many other scrapyard managers, owners have been. And, you know, you just adjust and move forward. So Yeah. And I, like I said, the, where these markets are going, I have absolute no idea. I'm the guy that bet on $5 copper, mm-hmm. and, and now oh. I'm getting closer to 4 right? Someone so, was wondering if we're going to make any bets this month. Absolutely. What do you want to do? My, you hear my stomach growling? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> shit. Um... <laughs> I think it's... Uh, what do we want to bet on? Do you want to bet... Here's the bet. Do you want to bet that copper stays... You want to do an average price or like uh, where does it peak out at? 
I want to bet that we stay north of 415 by the end of the month. Yeah, I I agree with that bet. Okay, so we can't bet that. Yeah, I'm like, I, I'll I bet, like that's I'll it. bet we rebound to 4... How high do you go, we go four, back? 440 this month. I'll say we get back to 440. Take that bet. Yeah, I think we go to 450. Well, we're betting on the same thing. We gotta maybe think. Of... Well, you said you top out at 440. Okay, so you got 450. I got I'll 440. Closest. Yep. Closest to. Yeah, okay. At any point in the month. At any point. Yep. yep. Okay. From here going forward. All right. Yep. I got 450. Let's shake on that one. And I we just, got some. I'm like a money donator. <laughs> Jeez. And we got some basketball games we could bet on. Yeah, we'll get soon. to that. We'll get to that as later as in this week. As soon as we get some, uh, as soon as we get like the kind of the final four teams to wrap this we'll deal bet, up, we'll, we'll bet start some of that. The Eastern and Western Conference Finals, mm-hmm. and then the finals. And then everyone, just look at our sports bets and do the opposite. Yeah, you'll, you'll make win. a lot of money. You'll do well. <laughs> okay. All, All right, right, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Great week. See you.